And now, Chef Toby in the Genesis Healthy Heart Kitchen. Well, it's time once again for the Genesis Healthy Heart Kitchen. And Chef Toby from Woodfire Grill and Davenport is here, along with Ken Crokin from the Genesis Heart Institute. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So, Ken's holding the avocado. He's ready to go. Well, yeah. You know, um, uh, this is one fruit that everybody likes, and it likes us back. Um, it's, a, it's a good, heart-healthy uh, inclusion in your diet uh, because of the fats involved. Toby? Absolutely. Actually, yeah. the number one fat that you're speaking of is the monounsaturated mm -hmm. fat. That's going to help lower cholesterol, uh, mm -hmm. which obviously has great benefits for cardiovascular mm -hmm. health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people think of avocados mm -hmm. because guacamole and the dip, and that that is a way that you can incorporate it into your, into your lifestyle. Right. Your exactly. Meals. You know, um, not everybody likes avocado, but everybody likes guacamole. Things like that. Yeah. <laughs> so if you just call it guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> and what you need is just some really ripe uh, guacamole, uh, ripe avocados, mm -hmm. slice them up, put them in a bowl, mm -hmm. and then what, what else we're going to add to this today? Absolutely. We're going to take some fresh red onion, garlic, the garlic, some minced chipotle peppers. Chipotle is smoked peppers? Smoked jalapenos, uh -huh. yes. Some diced red tomato, mm -hmm. and cilantro cilantro and then you're going to finish it off with that roasted corn now to roast the corn we're going to rub it down with a little bit of olive oil mm -hmm. and then just do it right over the burner like this you're going to want to keep an eye on it so that, that you don't get any flare-ups anything like that sure this is absolutely safe if you don't have a burner a gas burner you can just go ahead and use any sort of um, maybe frozen corn something mm -hmm. like that that's already done you're not going to get that charred flavor sure but if you do have a gas burner this is a great way to enhance it and get a lot of extra flavor interesting once okay. that's done we'll just shave it off right and then add it in there ken's mashing that up right now so julie we're going to get started on the next one this is another great quick appetizer for the holiday season okay sort of a healthy alternative to you know a lot of the dips and things like that that are, people are doing that mm -hmm. I love right but uh, your heart might not love it so much mm -hmm. so we're gonna have you take this edamame which is immature okay. soybeans I'm show that and it's it's still in the pod it's still in the pod okay. and we're gonna leave them in there and we're gonna put it into the boiling water there typically boil it from anywhere from four to five minutes kind of until your doneness I guess uh, and tenderness okay. that you're liking is, is achieved. Corn is popping there a little bit. Corn so. is popping so you might want to back up there and <laughs> just kind of turn it around. <laughs> we'll just turn that around a little bit right there. Kitchen and then in safety. the meantime to finish off the guacamole, mm -hmm. Julie I'm going to have you brush the flour tortillas with a little bit of garlic infused olive oil Okay. and then sprinkle just a little bit of the Cajun seasoning over the top of that. So this may be a little bit fancier than the pairing it with the chips and it's and right. healthier too. And healthier. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it doesn't take a lot of work. We now, just, we're going to bake cut these. It into triangles. Exactly. Instead of frying these, typically, which you'll find either a corn tortilla that's fried or a flour tortilla that's fried, we're just brushing it with the olive oil and then we're going to finish it off in the oven to crisp it up a little bit. Okay, sounds good. Talk about the edamame a little bit because this is maybe mm. a vegetable that people are a, a little, I don't know, standoffish with. Maybe you don't incorporate a lot, but it's very healthy and very simple and easy to make. Very simple and very easy and very healthy. Packed full of protein, packed full of fiber, which is going to have great health benefits as well for your heart. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to finish it with a little bit of sesame oil and just a little bit of a five ch uh, spice, Chinese spice over and the top of that. And very easy to get locally grown. Very easy, yeah, absolutely. So it's uh, uh, e even better. It takes on the flavor of other things well. So mm -hmm. you can incorporate it and. Go ahead and do this. And so, wait, now what do you want me to sprinkle on it? What is this Just again? a little bit of this Cajun seasoning. It's just going to give it a little bit of a punch. Okay. Now, Chef, are we ready to add lime juice to this? We are. Just okay. go ahead and roll that. Do you know why we're rolling the lime, Ken? To loosen the juices. Yeah, you lime. are correct. Right. <laughs> exactly. Go ahead, cut that in half, mm -hmm. and squeeze that right into the mm -hmm. guacamole. While you're doing that, I'm going to finish it with just a little bit of fresh cracked sea salt. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, spoon that into that bowl over there. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to check on our other tortillas. All right, we can throw these in. These are ready to go. Those are ready to go. You can pop those in right All there. All right. Perfect. So we're good with that. And the guacamole is ready to go. This is something that you could make ahead of time and, and put out at a party, right? Or do you, is it, you don't want to make it too far in advance as well. No, if you do, make sure that you cover it um, because otherwise the guacamole is going to brown over time. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, make sure that it's covered. You can refrigerate it and serve it hours or even the next day. Okay. 48 hours or so, it's going to tend to brown quite a bit. Sure, sure. All right, so 
So this here is is still kind of boiling. How long do you do you think? Just a couple of minutes, no more than five. Just would enough. You say? Yeah, yeah, just enough to soften it up a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead and check that. That's about perfect. I'm gonna dump this. Now we're gonna run this under cold water to basically stop the cooking process. Mm -hmm. okay. We don't want the carryover heat to continue to cook them just like pasta. Sure. They'll end up mushy and mushy. overdone. Mm -hmm. Into a little cold water here. Would you recommend a, like a nice water bath? Be ready first or something, or you can yeah. if you want to complicate your life a little bit. <laughs> right. It's going to work a lot more efficiently. But for time's sake, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Sure. Right. Now, Julie, we're going to go back into the bowl. I'm going to have you hit that with a little bit of this five spice. You want all of this or just uh, uh, just the pinch. pinch? Yeah, just okay. go ahead and sprinkle that over the top, and then we're going to toss that so it incorporates. A little yeah. sesame oil. That smells good. Go ahead and toss that. I'll you want to do it? that? Yeah, sure. absolutely. Let's see, Julie. Yeah, I see. Come on, <laughs> come on, higher. Want to lose some? There you go. <laughs> so I think you were laughing at me because before we started this segment, I said that I bought it in the bag, frozen. It's already peeled. <laughs> That's cheating. Yeah. That's yeah. cheating. You told me. Exactly, yeah. So this exactly. is the way to do it. Well, this is more fun to eat as well because you get to actually pull the the peas out of the pod. So when you're snacking on it. The idea is to grab the pea pod, okay. open it up, Oop. see, <laughs> Throw slippery little suckers. Right. <laughs> Very nice. All right, Flavorful, so finger, heart healthy. Yeah, exactly. finger food for a party mm -hmm. perhaps. And we got the guacamole. Come on, Julie, try, try this guacamole, will you? <laughs> Why not? Eric, come on over. You want to try some? I was... Do I want to? Do I want to? All right, Eric's silly like question. Hitting me. Mm. How was that? This has been painful sitting on right. and Eric. smelling Here we this go. the whole time. Oh, <laughs> guys, this looks easy to eat, let me tell you. you know, I, I expect a good forecast for the next week as a result <laughs> of this. I overfilled that one a little bit for you there. Oh, very man. good. Very That's good. Flavorful, huh? and this Simple is, to make. This is good for and this you. Is actually, all of that is good yeah, for you. I mean, yeah, exactly. corn, yeah. not, a, not an ingredient in there you're not happy to have inside you. Yep. <laughs> it's one of the things, like you know, along the holidays, is when we make dips. We want to mm -hmm. put mayo. We want to put mm -hmm. cheese in it. But you mm -hmm. really don't need to do don't that. Need to eat a full flavor. Well, you know, and, and actually, avocado when it's uh, it's it's ground maybe in a food processor, mm -hmm. it serves as a great substitute for mayo. Mm -hmm. uh, it has that same right. creamy constituency. Leaves on sandwiches and, and things. And uh, you'll never miss mayo. Sounds good. All yeah. Right. Thanks so much, guys, for coming mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. And pleasure. of course, for Chef Toby's healthy heart recipes, you can go to our website wqad.com and click on the health tab right there.